we're going to show you how to customize your employee directory from this overall just basic view to something a bit more actionable like this, setting up email and setting up a direct report flow. Now, say for example, this employee directory isn't really applicable for you to view in this format. You already know all the employees and you'd like to be able to quickly access them either via email or phone. No problem. Go ahead and click on the collection of staff. Let's change that to list. Here we have a little less detail, but we're going to add in some specific actions for each one of these. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're on the still on the collection of staff and come down to collection action items. So this is going to be an action that takes place on each singular item. So we can go ahead and add a primary action just as we did when we're adding an employee up here. And let's say we want to be able to email somebody. So let's just change this to compose email. And now we can put in the two, we could even pre-fill subject, uh, body, you know, if we wanted to CC anybody in. So maybe we're always wanting to CC in the manager that we're able to do already. And, you know, if this was a, a standard process that you're going to follow, you could pre-fill this subject. You certainly don't need to. Be sure you change the title to email. And all of a sudden we're done. Now that we've had that email button in, let's say when we click on this tab, we want to see all the direct reports and the details behind that employee. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second person down here and set this up. So as you can see, there are a few things that I've done here starting at the top. If you hit the plus sign, you can see I've pulled in this breadcrumbs action so that we know we've come from the initial staff directory and who we're clicking on currently. From there, I've gone ahead and pulled in a title section. Now this is the profile title, so you can see, and you could go ahead and set that container to however you would like. So maybe we like dark mode or light mode. Let's delete that duplicate out of there so you can see what we're working with. So you can see the title is here. We have that all set up. Now you can change the image. If you don't like the circle, you can use rounded. Uh, you can, you know, have a different emphasis on something else here if you don't want to have that. And certainly you can remove some of these if you don't want to have repeated information. So however you want to set it up, it is very customizable. From there, I've gone ahead and pulled in the fields. So under the plus sign, just pull fields. This, like in the mobile app, allows you to pull in lots of different options based on whatever information is in that table. So for us, that's all the relevant, relevant information to the employee. Be sure that you're naming these as you go through and giving them titles so that it's evident as you're moving through what's visible. So I've gone ahead and put employee details and then pulled in the information I wanted to show. From there, we set up the direct reports. I added in a container. So under layout, I just pulled in a container and then pulled in a collection again. So collection here of staff and I've done it as a list, but you could do it however you would like. Now, this collection of staff I have named direct reports. So it's the staff and I've given it a title of direct reports, set it up as a list and gone ahead and gone to options. From here, I've added a filter. So when you hit add filter, you can choose what these filters are. So I've gone ahead and chosen manager includes and then under the drop down, I've checked the screen and the name. This will be sure that this ties back to the person appearing on the screen. So as long as all of that information is tied together, this does all that behind the scenes rooting for you. So we've chosen screen and name. That way we have a visible list of all this particular person's direct reports at once. Now again, you can take off that search bar. So. This allows us now for each staff member to see who their direct reports are. If there aren't any, they won't appear. 
So as we can see, we have direct reports here. And even for the CEO, these two folks are the direct reports. So that's how you would go about setting up an employee directory. After you are able to add employees, it allows you to send emails directly and allows you to see details and direct reports. I hope this helps you as you build out your Glide pages and can't wait to see what you come up with.